got to introduce another heat to the lineup. Connor Coffin up against Matt Wilkinson. Still a few surfers outside the top 22, chasing down a, a solid finish in this event. Those surfers are Juan Daru. He's just moved through to the third round. Wilkinson kind of take a, a similar line into a barrel that scored really well from him on day one. Here we go, Matt Wilkinson. He's not going to get around this one. He's got plenty of time, though, up against Connor Coffin in heat three of round three. Just on seven minutes remaining for Jordy Smith and Michael February. That heat with Connor Coffin and Matt Wilco is a great heat on paper. They're, they're um, really evenly matched, although they have really contrasting styles and approaches, backside, front side, um, and they're, they're both incredible in the barrel. Bit of movement here at the moment. And having a look at this one is Matty Wilkinson. Good size wave, ducks up under the lip. Nice pocket ride, finds a bit of cover down the line and gets the exit. So that's a, a better start for Wilco. He was counting on a 0.5. Keep in mind that they haven't switched over into that position of priority. I was curious that uh, Jordy let that wave go. It seemed like a pretty nice wave to me. A little bit almondy at the start there, but it, right there it uh, definitely had a nice little finish. So it looked good as he took off. I thought he took off on an absolute gem, but it ended up being a little bit mushy. Really forced it in there, didn't he? Yeah, it's really crazy to, to uh, you know, when you see those waves coming in and you're out in the lineup, there's a lot of waves that you're not too sure about. I mean, they could be good or they could be absolutely terrible, and you don't know until you completely commit, lose priority, and get to your feet. And As we see this one, it's unloading on this inside reef for Matt Wilkinson. Love the takeoff and the energy. Couldn't find a big pit there, but just uh, takes a lot of technical abilities to survive the drop of pipeline. Probably the most exhilarating one point <laughs> ride of his life, right there. More waves on the way here. Connor Coffin, stylish grab rail, bottom turn, puts himself right under the hood and makes it out. So the surfer from Santa Barbara, California, doing a great job to read that section from off the bottom, packed it beautifully. And he'll be starting to get his role started here against Matty Wilkinson. Take another look. See how he goes all the way down to the bottom. Now he crouches down and slows himself down, tucks up under the hood. Great positioning there from Connor. That was a difficult wave to ride and, you know, and to time it. So he got in the barrel and out with just enough time before that thing shut down. So uh, Connor Coffin loves his backhand tube riding. He's a standout when you go to places like Chopu and Cloudbreak. Yeah, um, not so much inspiration. I watched a lot of heats and just try to kind of learn from where they were going right or wrong and um, I've never seen Kelly fall that much before you know he fell a lot on the right so I was like well the rights look pretty difficult with the wind. It's just a tube shootout for every heat. <clears throat> yeah I think uh, conditions not the issue right now it's just the direction of the swell. Matt Wilkinson slowing down and now speeding up on demand another nice pump to get the exit and Wilco will see the rest of the wave shut down on the sandbar. Needed that one to come through to 1.23 Here's Wilco again. Uh, you can see how he slowed himself down, sort of delayed the bottom turn as long as he could. Snuck up under the hood. Great technique there from Matty Wilco. Difficult to do. You can see him pretty much the entire wave, so that's why that score. It's a 3.01 there to take the lead. Here comes Connor now. Perfect technique in the pit. There's the spin. <laughs> Connor comes out. Wow. Now that is the kind of tube ride the judges want to see, Joe. Just there was no slowing down. It was pedal to the metal. Critical takeoff, nice and deep. That wave was super steep on the reef. And at a 4.23. Now Connor's wave. Steep drop, critical stuff, just flying through that barrel. Comes out with the spit. That one felt good. And uh, Connor knows it. So a good score for him. Just about to be locked in again. <clears throat> the vision from the drone. Nice and clean, at bad results. And, um, you know, when you're fighting for your, your position on tour, oh, my goodness. Flying out of the sky on the left of Pipeline will catch up with that in a moment as Matt Wilkinson will now ride this last wave in. We go down to the end of the season. These guys are going to not hold back at all. Connor going under the next one, and Wilco just hanging on to the inside. What yeah, a way to finish. That was uh, an incredible little wave there to finish off their heat. Connor, though, too strong. Yeah, Connor Coffin doing a great job. 7.83 is high score, 5.17 is low.